men also get breast cancer by the way but hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm teddy blessings if you're new feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get alerted each time i upload a new video well in today's health talk we're going to talk about breast cancer everything about breast cancer its causes the risk factors um diagnosis the stages and the treatment so if you're interested stay tuned What is breast cancer? Well, like all forms of cancer, breast cancer forms from unusual cells that grow out of control. These cells may travel to different parts of the body where they are not found and this is called metastatic cancer. So, breast cancer may start in the glands of your breast that produce milk called the lobules and this is called lobular carcinoma or it may start in the ducts that carry the, the, the milk to your nipples and this is referred to as ductal carcinoma and from here it may enlarge in your breast and spread to your lymph nodes or bloodstream to other body organs um it may also spread to the areas the tissues around your breast like the chest wall and and the skin different types of breast cancer grow and spread at different rates some may take years and years to grow and spread while others may grow and spread quickly who gets breast cancer men also get breast cancer by the way but they account for less than one percent uh, among women breast cancer is the most common form of cancer and it is the second cause of cancer death um, after lung cancer uh, one in eight women about that's about 13 percent yeah will get breast cancer in their lifetime and 66 percent of these women um are always above the age of 55 years while most of the rest are between 35 and and 54 but if you're less than 35 you can still get breast cancer the good news is that breast cancer is treatable if spotted early enough localized breast cancer uh, that is breast cancer that has not spread outside your breast is treatable if it has not yet spread to other parts of the body but once it starts spreading then treatment becomes complicated so when you notice any sign or symptom of breast cancer then you have to see your doctor immediately to rule out whether it is actually breast cancer or it is any other cause or any other form of breast disease so we're going to talk about the signs and symptoms of breast cancer signs and symptoms of breast cancer include one a lump or a thickened area in or near your breast or underarms that lasts throughout your period some people some women get um lumps breast lumps when they're about to get into their periods and they disappear after they've completed their periods but this one lasts throughout uh, then a breast mass or lump even if it feels as small as a pea, you have to take note of that. Um, then at any change in br your breast size, um, the shape and the breast curve, you have to take note of that too. And then if you get nipple discharge, it can be bloody, it can be clear, it can be any color. Take note of that too. And uh, then a change in the position and and shape of your of your nipple, of your breast nipple. Uh, another sign and symptom is a change in the skin of your breast or your nipple. I mean, it can be dimpled, it can be puckered, it can be scaly, it can be inflamed. Then redness around your breast or nipple or a hard marble-sized spot under the skin of your breast. If any change that can be different from the normal, I mean, if you have any change that is different from any other part of your breast, you have to take note of that too. So if you get one or more of those symptoms, all signs you really have to see a doctor immediately so you can be helped early enough what are the types of breast cancer uh, some of the most common types of breast cancers include one in situ cancers uh, these have not spread past the lobules or ducts where they started under this we have ductal carcinoma in situ uh, this is ductal carcinoma in its earliest stages that is stage zero it means the disease is still in the milk ducts but if it is not treated at this moment then it can invade other tissues in the breast 
and uh, in situ carcinoma you still have um lobular carcinoma in situ this is confined in the lobules that produce milk this is actually not a true cancer but it means you're more likely to develop breast cancer in future so if you have it you need to see and uh, you need to see a doctor for for regular breast exam and mammograms and then the second type of breast cancer is the invasive cancer just like you hear the names these have moved from the places where they started and invaded other tissues under this we have invasive or infiltrating ductal carcinoma and this started in the ducts and spread uh, it broke through the walls of the ducts and spread to the fatty tissue around the breast this is the most common type of um, invasive cancer and it accounts for 80 percent of all the invasive cancers then the second type under invasive cancers is invasive lobular carcinoma it starts in the lobules and then spreads to the other tissues surrounding the the breast and this accounts for 10 percent it also has subtypes and these include an um, adenocystic carcinoma um mucinous carcinoma papillary carcinoma uh, amongst others the less common types of breast cancer include inflammatory breast cancer uh, this is caused by inflammatory cells in the lymph vessels of your skin and uh, then paget's disease of the nipple uh, this affects the areola which is the skin around your nipple another is phyloids tumor of the breast this grows uh, in a leaf-like pattern it grows very quickly but rarely spreads outside the breast and then the other is metastatic breast cancer this is cancer that spreads to other parts of the body like the brain the bones and the lungs so basically those are the types of breast cancer what are the causes of breast cancer the actual cause of breast cancer remains unclear but there are certain things what you call risk factors that make you more likely to get uh, breast cancer and these include one age the more someone advances in age the more likely they are to get breast cancer at the age of 20 the chances of someone getting uh, breast cancer in the next decade are 0.06% but by the time someone clocks uh, 70 these chances have increased to 3.8% you can imagine the second risk factor is genetics uh, certain people who carry a mutation on the brca1 and brca2 gene have high chances of developing breast cancer ovarian cancer or both this gene is usually carried on from parents it is usually passed on from parents to their children then if you have a family history of breast cancer i mean if one of your relatives first grade relatives um has or has had breast cancer then you're more likely to get breast cancer uh, current guidelines recommend that people who fall in one of these groups should get genetic testing one if you have a family history of breast cancer and then two if in your family ancestry you have a mutation um you have people who have had breast cancer due to the mutation on the brca1 and brca2 gene then you need to get genetic testing from a doctor three is a history of breast cancer or breast lumps um women who have had breast cancer before have higher chances of getting the disease again than those who have no history of breast cancer and then some types of non-cancerous uh, breast lumps or tumors may risk you to getting breast cancer in the in future uh, for example like a typical ductal hyperplasia or uh, lobular carcinoma in situ so individuals with a history of breast cancer breast lumps uh, ovarian cancer fallopian uh, tube cancer should consult their doctors about genetic testing then another risk factor is having dense breasts by dense breasts i don't mean big breasts but if you have more connective tissue in your breasts than the fatty tissue then you're more likely to get a diagnosis of breast cancer the other risk factor is estrogen exposure extended uh, exposure to estrogen appears to cause to increase the risk of someone getting breast cancer this could be due to uh, starting your menses at an early age or entering your menopause at a later age than the average between this period the exposure to estrogen is high breastfeeding especially over one year appears to reduce the chances of getting breast cancer um, this may be due to the drop in the estrogen levels that follows after pregnancy and breastfeeding the other risk factor is 
overweight or obesity uh, women who get overweight or develop obesity after menopause have higher chances of getting breast cancer this is possibly due to the increased estrogen levels um, higher sugar intake may also be a risk factor the other is alcohol consumption uh, women who consume uh, a lot of alcohol i mean regular alcohol intake can play a role in cancer development actually some research by the cancer institutes show that uh, women who consistently take alcohol have a higher risk of breast cancer as compared to those who don't take alcohol and uh, the other risk factor is radiation if you've gone and um, radiation therapy for any other type of cancer you're more likely to get breast cancer then the last risk factor we're going to talk about is hormone treatments um cancer institute researchers have shown that women who use contraceptives have a higher risk of developing breast cancer and then the ladies who are on hormonal replacement therapy especially estrogen progesterone uh, therapy have a higher risk of getting breast cancer so some of these risk factors you can avoid and some others you can avoid for those you can avoid please make sure that you avoid them let's now talk about the stages of breast cancer there are around five but some have sub stages one is the early stage or stage zero uh, this is basically cancer or carcinoma in the ducts or that your doctor may call it carcinoma in situ it is confined in the ducts and hasn't spread to the surrounding breast tissue then stage one the cancer is two centimeters or less and hasn't spread then stage two stage two has stage 2a and stage 2b in stage 2a the tumor is um two centimeters across but with lymph node involvement under arm lymph node involvement then it can also be um larger than two centimeters but less than five centimeters without underarm lymph node involvement then stage 2b the tumor is larger than five centimeters across but with no underarm lymph node involvement or it is larger than two centimeters but less than five centimeters but with underarm lymph node involvement the other stage is stage three uh, this also involves three sub stages that is stage 3a stage 3b and stage 3c in stage 3a uh, the tumor is larger than five centimeters and has spread uh, to the underarm lymph nodes and the lymph nodes of the breastbone and then it can also be a tumor with any size and it has cancerous lymph nodes that stick to each other or to the surrounding tissue uh, stage 3b involves a tumor of any size that has spread to the chest wall and the skin uh, stage 3c involves uh, a tumor of any size that has spread further to involve other lymph nodes and then the last stage stage 4 this is metastatic cancer and it has spread to other parts of the body like the brain the bones the lungs or the liver so basically those are the stages of breast cancer so how is breast cancer diagnosed uh, a lady may report to a doctor because they've detected a breast lump or the doctor may be carrying out a general physical examination and then they detect a lump in the breast so this will call for more investigations to rule out whether it is actually a cancer or not um, and these involve uh, breast exam tests imaging tests blood tests and then a biopsy uh, in physical exam the doctor will carry out a breast exam to detect for a lump or more lumps and how big they are and this will require you to either sit down or stand up with your with your arms in different positions then several tests have to be carried out including imaging tests this can be an ultrasound mammogram or mri and then some blood tests may also be carried out then the other type of diagnosis is a biopsy here the doctor takes uh, a tissue from your breast and it is taken for lab analysis um, this will be able to to detect whether the cells are cancerous and if they are to determine what type of cancer it is and whether it is hormone sensitive or not this will also include staging of the cancer a staging of the cancer will establish 
uh, the size of the tumor, how far it has spread, and whether it is invasive or non-invasive. And cancer, cancer staging also helps to give a broad picture of a person's chances of recovery and their course of treatment. So basically, that's the diagnosis of cancer. Now, let's briefly talk about cancer treatment. Treatment will depend on several factors. It will depend on that type and stage of the cancer, uh, a person is sensitivity to hormones, and then the age and overall health of the person and also individual preferences. Uh, the treatment types may include radiotherapy, surgery, biological treatment that is drug targeted um, therapy, hormonal therapy, and chemotherapy. For surgery, if surgery is needed, the type of surgery will depend on uh, uh, on the stage of the cancer and and the person's preference. It, it may include lumpectomy or mastectomy. In lumpectomy, it involves removal of the lump, and then mastectomy it involves removal of breast tissue. You have to discuss this with your doctor to get the type of surgery that is appropriate. Then radiation therapy. A person may undergo radiation therapy uh, after like a month after surgery. Uh, radiation involves targeting the tumor with controlled doses of radiation to kill the remaining cancer cells. Then chemotherapy. A doctor may prescribe cytotoxic uh, chemotherapy drugs to kill cancer cells in case of high suspicion of recurrence or spread. The chemotherapy can be given uh, before surgery or after surgery. Then hormone blocking therapy. Uh, doctors use hormone blocking therapy uh, to prevent uh, hormone sensitive breast cancers from returning after treatment. And then biological treatment, certain drugs can be prescribed for you by your doctor uh, to target cancer cells and destroy them. The treatment of breast cancer and other cancers usually has a lot of side effects. So you need to sit down with your doctor and discuss uh, about the potential risks and how you can help minimize the side effects. The last thing I'm going to talk about is prevention. There's no actual way that you can prevent breast cancer. However, uh, certain lifestyle decisions can significantly reduce the risk of breast cancer and the type. These include one, avoid excessive consumption of alcohol, to maintain a healthy diet with plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables, um, three, get enough exercises, then four, maintain a normal BMI. BMI is body mass index. Uh, make sure that you avoid getting overweight. Then women should consider their um, options of breastfeeding and the use of hormonal replacement therapy after menopause as this increase the risk for breast cancer. Then preventive uh, surgery can be carried out for those women who have a very, very high risk of breast cancer. So guys, that's all I had about breast cancer for today. In my next video, I think we shall be talking about how to examine yourself for breast cancer. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, give it a like and subscribe and don't forget to share. So in my next video, we shall be talking about how to carry out a breast cancer examination. I mean, a self breast cancer examination. Bye. Thank you for watching.